at Zimbo Live TV, we always say, Maoko ano gezana, izanda, zia gezana. Today, we are going to be chatting to somebody who has been able to start off a business. This is a titan in the industry. Somebody who has said, you know what, I'm not just going to sit back and see what the normal day brings me. I'm going to make a difference. And being outside the country doesn't mean that my own country cannot prosper. It doesn't mean that I cannot begin new endeavors. I'm talking about somebody who is building an empire and not just anybody. I'm talking about a woman whose head is well seated on her shoulders. My name is Charlene Mangweni and you are tuned in to Zimbo Live TV. And today we are talking to, we are on to be talking to the founding director of Ndasenda, Mrs. Fungai Ndamira. Fungai, how are you? Ah, thank you so much. Makadi Kozimbo Life people, Linjani, how are you? I'm so excited because Kuno Kundokumba. So, yeah, this is good. <laughs> thank you for having me. We are so excited to have you on the show. Yeah, I am excited as well because mm -hmm. um, we kind of. Um, have been expecting to have this day at some point on this mm. journey and i'm so excited because people can ask me questions they can talk to me about this and the center so yeah the beauty of it's internet <laughs> absolutely absolutely so today as you are watching you can be able to just post your comments feel yeah. free to ask mrs ndemira what it is exactly yeah. that you would like to know yeah. we're always hearing and seeing uh, posts and people are using the sender all across zimbabwe mm -hmm. this mm -hmm. has made life easier so much easier but before we go into that <laughs> before we go into that <laughs> i want to know and zimbo live viewers want to know yeah who you are i'm sure they know my sister mm -hmm. <laughs> remember you guys we did um i think we did a live before when uh, zimbo live came to us and we had a conversation about entrepreneurship and you know i'm always banging mm. Shandai, but Shandai Muchizi Akuti, we have a responsibility to our country. And, mm. and, and, and I think that was amazing. So I'm, I'm excited to come mm -hmm. here again. But for the sake of those who haven't watched the program before, mm -hmm. I am Fungai Ndemira. Mm -hmm. I born and bred in Zimbabwe. Through uh, and through. Through and through. So... I am Zimbo <laughs> to the core. Uh -huh. um, yeah, I studied everything here in Zim. Left Zimbabwe though, mm. uh, Muna 2000 is okay. when we left Zimbabwe for UK. Uh -huh. Me and my husband just got married. Mm -hmm. We thought, you know what, we can start a new life somewhere. And we we ended up in England. Mm -hmm. And if I'm honest, um, I suppose it was an opportunity for us to see what's outside Zimbabwe. Mm -hmm. But for us, we've always been Zimbabweans at the core. Mm -hmm. And we've stayed connected <laughs> with home mm -hmm. through and through. And so, yeah, we've been in the UK. We're going to be 18 years this year. Wow. But That's a whole person. I tell you this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, so it's been an amazing business journey. We started mm -hmm. businesses in the UK back in 2001. Mm -hmm. um, our main space was healthcare. And then later on along the journey, moved from healthcare into technology, into different things that we do. Mm -hmm. So I suppose this is one of the other things that we are doing in terms of bringing services to people so it's so good mm -hmm. to be on the show what is it exactly that inspired you because i know so many people that have those aspirations and those dreams to say I i'm tired of waking up and yeah. you know just being to a slave master and trying to pay my daily bills and just living from hand to mouth you are one of the most successful women in the country thank you i didn't know that how <laughs> oh yes you are <laughs> How exactly would you say, um, what, what has inspired you to be able to say, I'm going to get up today and start doing this? You said you started in 2001. Yeah, so, so I suppose it's, um, you know, having been in poverty, mm -hmm. and I think poverty can do two things to you. Mm -hmm. It's either going to make you believe Kuti, this was easy. Mm. Ratopera. Ratopera. Mm. It's okay. Mm. I can just stay here, feel sorry for yourself, kill in, and just resign. Mm. You know? Mm. Or it can push you to decide to say that, you know what? Though this is my situation right now, mm -hmm. but if I work hard with my hands, I can change this story. Mm. And so for me, it is the latter. It is that realization that um, 
There must be more to life, right? Yes. There must be more to life than just kongo in outkoro and then maybe just settle for less. Mm-hmm. We can be the change that we want. And I suppose our background for me my background is christian mm-hmm. and one of the core beliefs in everything that we do or everything that i do mm-hmm. is that we have been given this life and we have been given it to live abundantly and in abundance and everything that we desire the bible says that god he has got a good plan to prosper us mm-hmm. so when i take these words for me i translate them literally so how 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 mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. and so through life experiences and through life journeys i decided along the journey that i wanted be, to become the change that i want to see i wanted to be the person that is going to change the story of my family mm. the story of my community mm-hmm. the story of those around me but one thing i did not see coming was how difficult <laughs> it is <laughs> i mean yeah but it's making that choice and once you make it mm-hmm. you just choose to say i'm going to walk the road mm-hmm. and so i think i think i suppose that's what i would put out there to say guys everything that we desire mm-hmm. has been made available but we need to have the right outlook to life kuti what is it that i need and then have the heart that seeks that thing mm-hmm. and bringing it to life mm-hmm. and this is exactly what we are doing through our experiences in poverty through my challenges that we have faced as mm-hmm. my diaspora you know stories we talk amongst ourselves my diaspora kuti ha i have been sending mari kuna mama for the last 3 months or the mm-hmm. last 4 months but kuti ba bade my bills mm-hmm. and when you ask her 3 months later mama mari anda katumira magets magets or especially mvura or marets makazo bade daire mama will be like ah mwana um kwa kazo fiwa ah anda kazinge naina kwa kati Because at the end of the day those bills they still need to be paid, be paid by you. Uh-huh. So these are some of the experiences that we are just taking our diaspora experiences and thinking okay how do we create solutions around them? Mm. And and hence that brings us to the understand the conversation and yes. basically that 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 is what inspired us. So number one to say that poverty poverty is not an option. Mm-hmm. We can choose to walk out of poverty. Mm. Uh the how to do it is the most difficult part. because sometimes we think atina maria cho yekutanga zvinhu zvozvo ma projects sometimes we feel that we are not adequate enough sometimes we feel that kuti zimbabwe yacho yakaoma inoneta navigating your way in zim is the most difficult thing but yet we still say let's push forward guys and let's be the zimbabwe that we want to see mm-hmm. so for us that's for me that that's the core of what drives me to do what i do mm. Yeah. And you just touched on how people will be out there saying kuti I am Zimbabwe it's so difficult mm-hmm. to start a business and mm-hmm. no 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 I can't start it because I need to first have $100,000 stashed mm-hmm. somewhere for me to start and na capital yeah. and na in anything for me to be able to start something. Mm-hmm. So it then becomes a vicious cycle where the yeah. rich are getting richer or Absolutely. the poor are getting poorer. How you're saying that you are inspired basically by your basic and humble beginnings. Yeah. How did you manage to break out of that mm-hmm. and still be able to manipulate the situation in a country where people are saying and perceiving mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. that it is impossible. Mm-hmm. You can't. Mm-hmm. How did you do that? Right. So this mm-hmm. is the stories that I talk to young entrepreneurs or upcoming entrepreneurs or anybody start trying all the time mm-hmm. that it is not about the money. the money you will need but maybe later on along the journey business is built on relationships that's mm-hmm. number 1 and number 2 business is built on coming up with solutions that solve the immediate problems so in whatever business or project that we are trying to start mm-hmm. before we think about the money can we think about what is the problem that business or idea that is solving right now that people need because once you've established that mm-hmm. number 2 you think about do i have the capacity do i have the passion do i have the drive because without the capacity within yourself and without the drive no matter how much money you have mm-hmm. anything that you trying you trying to do requires much more than that 
there is a lot of sacrifices that happens behind the scenes in terms of your time, your life, your children, your family. Working on this particular project and sometimes not even knowing whether it's going to work or not. Mm -hmm. So money is later on, we are going to need money and we do need lots of it. Yes. But if you come up with an idea or a project that is meaningful to mm -hmm. the people, that is sound, that solves a problem mm -hmm. immediately and that shows that it is viable in terms of once it started, it's going to bring money. Mm. The money that you need, you can figure out ways of finding it. Number one, it's either you can raise the capital yourself and give yourself a time period to say, by this time, I need to raise this much. Mm -hmm. But while you are raising that much, you can be doing these things that I've just described. Mm -hmm. The research, mm -hmm. um, figuring out the processes, figuring out the system. Now, for us who are in diaspora, we don't know what's happening on the grassroots mm -hmm. level, on the ground. So it means that sometimes we just have to be on the ground to come and learn, to come and understand. And as we do that, we are connecting and understanding who the authorities are. Mm -hmm. We are understanding what systems operate on the ground. Mm -hmm. We are understanding what licenses we need. And all those things, it's a process. Mm -hmm. So the key is we have got to want to engage and get on with the process. Mm -hmm. And then the money, you're probably going to need it 12 months later or 24 months later when you've laid all these foundations. So to someone who is saying to me, Fungai, I don't have the capital. For me, that's a no, <laughs> because the capital you will need later. Fungai, uh, Zimbabwe is very difficult. Yes, my brothers and sisters, mm -hmm. Zim is difficult mm -hmm. because the money keeps moving goalposts. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Maria <laughs> what it means, how much it's worth, you know, move my goalposts all the time. Uh -huh. But the most interesting, beautiful thing on the ground is that we have got people who are educated and we who know what they are doing. Mm -hmm. So men power and human resources, which is well educated and trained and understand, we have lots of it. Mm -hmm. So you've got to be willing to come on the ground and identify those people mm -hmm. who are going to help you to get to where you want. And some people will say, okay, if a guy, if I identify those people, uh, how about figuring and navigating my way through everything else? Mm -hmm. It is the same. Business is built on relationships. Mm -hmm. You are going to have to have a, a, a conversation with a decision maker and let them buy into your idea. Let them see why they should let you operate that project. Uh -huh. what, what problem? Is it solving on their desk that if you bring your service, it will make their life better? <laughs> Can you see? Yes, it, it, you're actually <laughs> making it sound so simple. And it's it's making me think that, you know, maybe all the excuses that we give each other really are just are, are rubbish. <laughs> I really hope so because... And in Amat Akuna Moon and Ogara, any hundred thousand, I can go Gara, could he that day will come? I mean, that's impossible. And when we look at we are saying Quatrugo Bauk, where do you have hundred dollars? I can go Gara. It's just impossible, right? But maybe that hundred thousand, you know, going to come your way once you've got your project and somebody can look at it and say, Oh, I'm interested in your project. Maybe I will invest in your project. But they must see value in what you are trying to do. Speaking of Ndasenda, this mm -hmm. is just one of the many things that you do. Please tell me a little bit more about your company so that even those that are watching at home, at work, or wherever anybody's watching from right now, <laughs> will understand what your empire means. That it's, because for all we know, maybe people are thinking it's just another um, backyard type mm -hmm. of, a, of a business. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So what is it exactly that your empire entails? Right. So I suppose on our journey as diaspora community or as diaspora people, mm -hmm. we realize that, you know what, we are the biggest contributors to our Zimbabwean economy. Mm -hmm. We send marikumba for my health care needs of the people we love. We send maskufis. We send marikumba for one or the other. And if you look at the how much we are pushing home, every year in terms of remittances, in terms of um, forex, mm. we are the biggest contributor to our economy. Yet, as we are trying to do and offer those services and, and, and give back home, the stresses 
that we experience pakutumi na marikumba unuzi wa kunzi school fees e hundred dollars yet maybe school fees actually was only twenty dollars i have got personal experience yeku badarava nama school fees over so many years only later on to realize kuti maria ndai badara was not even um i to pay that that's one good example i have got friends and family who have come back home bakatenga ma properties mm. only to be told mamita ka visco because makanga msinga badare ma rates and when they think i was sending i was sending money <laughs> <laughs> and you think uh uh-huh. you, you understand yes. so we we came together um, and i think this idea this inspiration you could tanga these services mm. if i'm honest was inspired by what we could see where we live and we thought how beautiful it is we could bring the same gomba mm-hmm. how beautiful that would be so that was the inspiration from our difficult experiences and basically we thought it was a small idea mm. and a small thing so again coming back to the research which i've just mentioned mm. when we came home and we came on the ground wanting to now um think kuti totangira papi who do we approach who do we say when we started going to authorities we realized go to oh my god where we live mm-hmm. there are a lot of things we take for granted in terms of just transacting or just mar- just business in general and we thought <laughs> making your life easy yeah and we thought hang on a minute this is an opportunity for us to bring solutions kunyika kwedu right away by what we see every day where we live mm. so why can't we come up with an answer by then we were already on a journey of creating my systems for the businesses mm-hmm. that we have back in the uk and we thought okay let's bring the same gomba right mm-hmm. and that's basically that is how it started and we did not see it being what it is today if i'm honest because the piece that we we, we just were interested in was if we could solve our this one diaspora problem mm-hmm. where we can have a one-stop built form that allows us to pay our bills without the stress yes. without the hassle so then when we got on the ground we thought okay if i want kubadada my bills angu ku city council digitally still city council yacho inofana in a system mm-hmm. right mm-hmm. so then we realized kuti okay we would have to find a system at no gadira for the council before we can pay directly <laughs> to them huh uh uh-huh. So this is how, this is what happens in my ideas edu right you have an idea and you think it's going to be just a quick fix mm-hmm. but then when you actually get on the ground hence the importance of researching so when we got on the ground we realized kuti saka we are going to have to have mm-hmm. a system for every city council in zimbabwe is it doable mm-hmm. and we thought maybe yes it is let's talk to the council as much let's try let's try mm-hmm. you know it doesn't hurt to have a conversation so what was in it for the city councils what was in it was that we can pay directly to them maria which we are in real time mm-hmm. council was struggling to collect my bills out so we thought okay dio answer it now mukati vumiza imimi kuti tiku gadzirira i system yekuti mu quality my bills on a marare how does that look like to you and they said wow because we are struggling just try mm-hmm. you know mm-hmm. and that was the starting of the journey and that was like four years ago wow that was like four years ago uh-huh and we that, that's how we started so we spoke to the city councils we got to try and then we thought okay can the city council do any challenges maybe other areas mm-hmm. so for example we um spoke uh, our team yakatanga kutanga kutora ni authorities ni ma different services tikaona kuti no damdziko racho riri ko everywhere in every service and then we came back regrouped back on the ground my banks i need my services wow my machete my schools would need the same systems mm-hmm. everybody would need right mm-hmm. so basically that's how the center started so we started creating systems and kwanisa kushandiswa for bill processing and of kwanisa kushandiswa for improving banking services and kwanisa kushandiswa for just everyday business and we started talking to my corporates and saying tunoko by system tunoko by system and basically it started to grow mm-hmm. and then from that after excuse me kwa venema mm-hmm. systems then only then could be vanwa diaspora 
be able mm. to do business now. So then, so it it's a process, guys. It's yeah. not, and it doesn't sound. It doesn't. Um, it's not as as simple or as easy. Mm -hmm. But what I'm saying is, you can do it to my steps to our call, muchita, 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 mm -hmm. and it's a process. So basically, we are on a journey. We are a startup, but we've been around four years now, mm -hmm. and we are just adding my pieces one by one. But we are part of the Zimbabwe digital transformation, mm -hmm. and we are we are going to be part of that bigger picture. How accessible would you say uh, Ndasenda is? Say I've I've downloaded the app. Sure. I'm in Zimbabwe. Mm -hmm. How accessible is it for me in Harare mm -hmm. in comparison to somebody in, let's say, in Toko or in Cholocho? Mm -hmm. How accessible is it to every single Zimbabwean? Right. So accessibility to the Zimbabweans, again, I'm, I'm going to come, come to the economics of the things. Mm -hmm. Because Muno Zimbabwe, at the moment, we are not able to have my individuals transact and process my bills, our Vega, mm -hmm. because connectivity is still an issue to every single person, mm -hmm. right? At mm -hmm. Satitave, I wish the government, we were having this conversation, could have an incentive, Yekutivati Joni, access to the internet must be subsidized. At least Munuwe say, I want a way of being, having the internet. Mm. Because what does it do? It brings convenience to people. Iwewe kanauna maiva ko varikwa mtoko kana kucholoto. Mm. Panikuti wa trage marika na five dollars yewa kuile bazi wa hindi mm. kutu town kuna access ama service o kuna withdraw pension yawo. Mm. What we are saying is let's bring the pension to mom. Yes. Right? Mm -hmm. Because salary services be ru idu kusha nisa ndasenda. So we can just bring up ya mama. Mm. Mama voto collector maria vo paya pe. Mm -hmm. And it, so that is the challenge that is in Zimbabwe. So in Zimbabwe, we have created what we call an agent network, mm -hmm. where we are having my agents are dotted around the country who can then have access to the internet, mm -hmm. and then we are going to submit the bill mobile payment processes. Uh -huh. So these are so the agents that are Zimbabwe. just all over Zimbabwe. That's right. Ah. That's right. So in Zimbabwe, you can become self-employed or you can become an entrepreneur, which mm -hmm. my services, and you get your commissions mm -hmm. through doing that. We share my commissions in a way, which it is a connectivity of a So that's how we are doing it, Muno Zimbabwe. But our desire and our dream mm -hmm. is that as long as Muno is a smartphone, as long as Muno is a connectivity, once we get to that stage, mm -hmm. everyone can do that process. Mm -hmm. So that's one way. And then outside Zimbabwe, we have now been activated in every European country. Oh, so, wow. Yes. So if you are a Zimbo, it doesn't matter where you are in Europe, mm -hmm. the whole of Europe, you can now download the Ndasenda app on the App Store and on Android, and you can start paying Mabuza, yako, school fees, yako, um, paying Vana topics, mm -hmm. banking. Yako. We have got a few banks that are online, including CBZ. You mm -hmm. can do my transfers, Akowega, Ipapo. Because oh. our idea is to become a one-stop shop for paying anything in Zimbabwe. Any bills. Anything. So I'm that cutting really out, welcome. going into uh, my local townhouse, Kutindino Padarai, Bilrim Vura, and That's all of right. that stuff. It's now just so convenient on my smartphone where I am. Absolutely. The only challenge that we are facing mm -hmm. is that my service providers at Ningit Shida Kutiva Shandi is a platform. Yes. Sometimes the tech is not compatible or is not as up to date, uh -huh. and sometimes it's an education thing. So it has taken us longer because to know funny that we and let's say, for example, if it's a council, to know funny that we identify what systems they have, and sometimes we system before Tava wins a patchy per app. So when people ask us, Komavini Kanto Yere, Komavini Service Yere, it's not as simple as all that because on the ground, we also have to do the work with mm -hmm. my service providers. But we must say that we are pleased because one by one, mm -hmm. one step at a time, we are adding more and more my services. And now you can do all your airtime, Wi Fi, data bundles, um, your phones, mm -hmm. uh, my university fees, my colleges. We now have got quite a few. So it's a process, mm -hmm. and we must say, I think we are pleased with the with the rate. It's not easy, but we every day we are at it. Mm -hmm. <laughs>
have you thought of roping in like um do you do you do my my groceries or those those type of small little things that you know are needed back home especially <clears throat> kind of when you're out of the country and instead of sending fifty dollars mm. let me pay the supermarket is is this something that you that you're also doing yeah so what we are saying is you know we are an aggregating mm-hmm. platform so if we can only mon any business like the man groceries mm-hmm. come forward and contact our business development team mm-hmm. and say i want to be on the sender because basically that's the idea we yes. want to bring you mm-hmm. to the people whether here in zimbabwe or in diaspora mm-hmm. we can just aid you as a service provider on our system and how do we do that we do that by first setting up your services we were setting you up on our system mm-hmm. and then we you can now what be accessible to my customers at mm-hmm. now so basically we are your partner in your business if you come forward we put your business on the sender and you can be mm-hmm. anything you can be mona no tengisa huko at the moment we've got chicken mm-hmm. uh, available we've got my cakes when no kwanza kutinga my cakes but what we are saying is we inviting you to come forward because mm-hmm. so we are just an aggregating yes. platform yes. we bring you to the people meta business renew so mm-hmm. we are just that vehicle or that conduit mm-hmm. and basically that in a nutshell that's all it is So <laughs> this is actually an open invitation Absolutely. to each and every yeah. single business that is out there. Yeah. If you know that you have potential customers and potential clients in Zimbabwe who would want to access your services, uh, like Funga has just said, maybe you're selling chickens, maybe you bake cakes, Absolutely. maybe you're somebody who is actually a gardener and you know your way around the garden, you know how to keep a lawn green, then make sure that you contact in the center. find out how it is that you can be able to partner with the sender so that family and friends and business partners that are in the diaspora are able to then pay for your services using the sender platform now what more universality can we ask for in accessibility <laughs> yeah this is amazing what we're going to do now from that you know what i wanted at something uh-huh. that amazing that happened you know even my insurances my insurance companies were struggling to collect my insurance premiums avo mm-hmm. so now we have got people like simacies of this world mm-hmm. on the sender so mm-hmm. you can pay for your if you are in diaspora you better than my kumba my medical aid you just go under sender ya go bada and we are bringing more of those my funeral police plans mm-hmm. you can pay under sender so we are kind of bringing in my services in bichana and bichana mm-hmm. and hope we will have more and more services coming um coming soon as you continue to grow that that is <laughs> that is definitely inspiring thank you we now need to go and just take a tour of the whole space in as much as we mm-hmm. are right now we're sitting um on this particular set this isn't the only space that the center has there's so much more that is going on behind the scenes people are just clicking away and making sure that what what is sent is sent the sender the sender <laughs> so we're going to we're going to take a tour right now just around and from guys going to be telling us and showing us what the different departments right here are doing for you thank you we're ready to go guys on the tour thank you the sender is your one stop bill payment app The winner beautiful Navara competition is here. We are giving away a beautiful Nissan Navara to one lucky winner. To stand a chance to win, log into your account in the app. Spend at least 20 pounds on any of the services. Pay Zessa, school fees, or even top up someone's phone. Take a screenshot of your receipt and submit to enter the competition. You can enter as many times as you like. You could be the one to drive away in this beautiful Navara. Go on. What are you waiting for? The Senda download the app now right so this is our part of our teams and they are doing different things in here be, believe it or not <laughs> because we are t- we are a technology company we don't have very specific spaces to work from because we believe that people should be inspired mm-hmm. to work from outside or indoors so these teams all they work from is their laptops and their mobile phones <laughs> believe it or not can uh-huh. you believe that so they are working uh, in terms of finances answering customers questions mm-hmm. setting up mm-hmm. customers they are busy chatting away right now mm-hmm. to, to to different corporates to different uh, customers in different parts of the world and really that's what technology does for us right mm-hmm. it just really makes things simple and easy so this is almost like um 
the command center, yeah, basically, basically, of everything that happens right. within the center. That's right. And this is just one of the rooms. Mm -hmm. We have got a few rooms around this building mm -hmm. doing different things. Oh, let's go through and <laughs> check those out as well. Yeah, let's do that. Thank do you. you. <laughs> Spotlights on you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We're here at the heart of what Ndasenda is. When I walk in, this is the beautiful, lovely face that I see. Absolutely. Tell me a little bit more about what inspired this space for you. What made you think that this is how I want my reception area to look? I suppose, I think we haven't really, if I'm honest, mm. done all the branding and all that. Because like I said, we are a startup and we are working with what we have. <laughs> The key is our services to be out there. So mm -hmm. if I'm honest, <laughs> this furniture that you see right here, mm -hmm. we would have just gone to buy pieces to get started. I want to be real mm -hmm. so that an ordinary person who's out there, they can connect with the fact that you can start with what you have. Mm -hmm. So we literally started mm -hmm. with what you have. we have in this space. Mm -hmm. The key is we have got our beautiful Patricia at the reception. She can speak to customers. She can answer the phones. Um, we have got a nice space where if people, we had more people, they can come and sit here. We have got the kitchen where everybody has their lunches. We cook lunches here. Our mm -hmm. staff, they eat oh, from wow. the office. So we have got the chef. Yeah. You're having lunch after. Okay. We have got a full-time chef that cooks for our teams. And we just make it nice and simple, but a nice environment mm. to work in. Patricia, <laughs> I'm coming to you now. What does it feel like being the face of the company when somebody walks in, you're the first smile that they get to see before they even know that there's checkup in the back or before they know anything about the center, they see you. How do you manage that? Well, I'm very good at my job and wow. I love interacting with people um, and I love meeting new people and I'm very excited working for Funga and Demira. It's one of the best, like, I brag about it. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh -huh. yeah, I, I really love working here. It's, it's amazing mm -hmm. and I'm learning a lot. Now that we've got checkup, and I'm now learning a lot mm -hmm. about medication and all that stuff. And we've got a full-time nurse, so if I get sick, I won't be very worried about that. <laughs> Perks of the job. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, and considering that Ndasenda is such a large te a company that deals with technology, obviously you have a couple of customers that don't quite understand how it works because mm -hmm. this isn't something that we were born doing. So how do you deal with somebody who come here and say, listen, but they don't understand Ndasindachi. How do you deal with such customers? Well, first we have to calm our customers down. And if they're really not happy with the service that we have given them, we apologize and I direct them to the proper person that they have to speak to and make sure that they, when they leave this place, they're happy customers again. Mm -hmm. And they always make we make sure that they have to come back again and not go back and talk bad about us. We wouldn't want that. Okay. Wow, that, <laughs> that is what I call proper customer management and public relations. And who wouldn't look such a pretty face? Who would walk away absolutely, angry? <laughs> absolutely. Fungai, please take us through the rest of your space. Oh, yeah, she's looking at the table. Okay, cool. We are just going to talk to you customer key team, mm. they take care of all the complaints, the they're front facing, interacting on Facebook, mm -hmm. and basically that's what they do. Ah. <laughs> okay, so this is social our media. customer care social media. Customer care social media. Can I bother each and every one of you guys? I just want to know. <laughs> <laughs> I want to know what you what you do personally and what it's like working for Ndasenda. Okay, uh, my name is... Yes, your boss is standing right here. <laughs> <laughs> I can see that. Okay. Uh, my name is Ellen, and I'm the customer service representative. Um, um, my job uh, is to, to make customers happy I, um, by providing them the service that we have here. So we resolve uh, their complaints, yeah, and 
yeah, that's that's well of what you do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. And moving on. Okay. Hi, my name is Pio Machakwa, and I am with the social media. Mm -hmm. So um, we deal with Twitter, Facebook, we have YouTube, LinkedIn, and on those platforms, we receive complaints from our clients. We try to help them if we if the questions or maybe the problems that they have are extensive or beyond our reach, we then forward them to the customer care and to make sure that they get the help that they require. Mm -hmm. So when I have any question or a compliment, this is the face that will be behind the keyboard. Yes. Well, there you have it. <laughs> and moving on. Okay. He's a the world wants to see your pretty face. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> okay, so my name is Melody. Uh -huh. uh, I'm part of the customer care team. Uh, basically, I'm here to solve customer care issues and also to acquire new clients, mm -hmm. not just resolving our issues to do with the old clients, but also acquire new clients. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's basically what I do. Okay, thank you, Melody. You're welcome. You're the melodious voice. <laughs> thank you. And the only gentleman in the room. <laughs> I don't say it? that you think the center is for girls. <laughs> um, I, I wanted to say you have a lot of pretty faces here. Uh, so you you must be feeling uh, pretty honored to, to be in the midst of such beauty. Yeah, it's always a pleasure, you know, to work around beautiful women. <laughs> Tell me a little bit about your work in the office. Well, my, my work normally is not in the office. Mm -hmm. My work is on the field. Mm -hmm. I'm a social executive with Nascenda. And my job, my primary job is to uh, acquire new agents, manage the ex existing ones, any challenge, whatever it is that they're facing. Some of them, they contact me and then I refer them to the customer care. Or else the customer care times, they get some... Uh, complaints from clients, whatever it is, when they need assistance, mm -hmm. they come to me, they tell me, and then I'll go visit the agent and make sure that they're happy. Mm -hmm. yeah. So since you're saying that you, uh, you, you're you the person who goes out there and recruits new agents, Charlie wants to become an agent. How do I become one? Well, for you to become an agent, the first step is I have to explain to you what, it, what the center is. Mm -hmm. Make sure that you, you understand before you become an agent. Mm -hmm. After understanding, I'll give you an uh, an application form like this one that you have to fill. You need to sign the form, mm -hmm. and then you give me one passport size photo and a copy of your ID. Mm -hmm. And then after that, when you're signed in, you get your credentials. I'll, I'll tell you how to download the application. The application is on um, Google Play Store, and it's also on um, Apple iOS. Mm -hmm. iOS. You can also uh, access it uh, from a website, mm -hmm. which is sender.com, and then you sign into your account. Mm -hmm. But one thing. You need to put on your flat. It's all the transactions they are mm -hmm. pre-funded. Uh -huh. yes. All right. Yeah. And uh, do I need to have any sort of qualifications? Because maybe somebody is saying, "Hey, I, I need to have studied this or done that." Or is becoming an agent something that anybody can do as long as they meet the requirements? Yeah, you need to have one qualification. Mm -hmm. That's Which being is? a human being. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> like that. All yeah. right. In, in, in short, the application is uh, open to everybody who's willing to trade somebody with uh, who's uh, with an entrepreneurial mindset. Mm -hmm. Somebody who's saying, I'm working somewhere and I need extra income. Mm -hmm. You can become an in, in, in the center agent. Mm -hmm. Or somebody who's sitting at home and saying, Hakuna Mabasa. Basta really go here. They to give you the job to your business mm -hmm. so we cannot say we're giving you a job to do mm -hmm. but then we will facilitate that you have your own business you run and then you'll be making your own money you become your own boss and how do people get in touch with you um uh, well contact details i think our customer care number it's uh 078 mm -hmm. 8162 and there's a uh, k at uh, .com. and then you can also get in touch with me directly on 0772 that number again please or seven seven two seven four five five seven eight. And there's also our landline, which is zero eight six double seven double zero five three mm -hmm. five three. Wow. And people can see the gentlemen that are actually on the ground every single day making sure that Ndasenda does what Ndasenda does best. Gentlemen, hello and thank you so much for joining us on the show today. Thank you. Thank you. Um, if you could please just introduce yourselves. 
I'm uh, Robert Rutzito. I'm the Chief Commercial Officer mm -hmm. for FN Software Solutions. Myself, Neeraj Malik, and I'm Chief Operating Officer of FN Software Solutions, mm -hmm. called as Dasenda. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, Dasenda is one of um, the world's best apps that is able to solve solutions for people in Zimbabwe and the mm -hmm. diaspora. We have so many families that are saying that I have somebody who is out there, but how do they then access services or pay for services here? What solutions would you say you as a company have solved for Zimbabweans who are living abroad and locally? Well, thank you. Uh, basically, what we have done as the sender, we have managed to put together a host of services that every consumer or every person requires in their home daily, whether it be buying your electricity, paying your water bills, paying for your school fees, paying for insurance, and a host of many other services, uh, inclusive of even banking services. These services are now so conveniently to the person, wherever you are, on in any application that you have. Mm -hmm. All right. And what would you say to somebody who is thinking of using the app today or is thinking of signing up today? How best can they make sure that they utilize the service to the fullest? Well, I think uh, whoever has an app today uh, should be able to pay their school fees, pay their water bills, pay their rates, and uh, without an inch of doubt, still mm -hmm. pay their school fees. Like now we're going towards the opening of schools and uh, we're 99.9% .9 up. We never have, we rarely have downtime. We don't speak of downtime, <laughs> we speak of uptime. And uh, I'd like to think uh, even all of our agents, we also have the app deployed on our agent network. And this agent network allows people within the high density areas of Zimbabwe and the rural areas of Zimbabwe mm -hmm. to approach a specific agent who will offer them service of any nature that is that I've just mentioned and they can acquire the service, buy the service, pay for the service at this agent touch point. So definitely the app is a, a great use to the consumers. Mm -hmm. Speaking of um, how it is an app, it obviously has to do with technology. Do I have to be tech savvy in order to be able to use the app? Uh, not really. That uh, app is basically facilitating uh, uh, with the convenience, right? If an app is a cumbersome and you have to struggle and you need to be tech savvy, we won't call that as a real <laughs> app, right? Yes. So it doesn't serve the purpose. So app, any, any, I guess everyone is used to all kinds of smartphones, right? And using that, that app is way too simplified version. It's a very clearly visible way to navigate. And I'm sure you, you, uh, mm -hmm. if you have used it or mm -hmm. not, you would realize that how easy and simplified it is. Mm -hmm. yeah. And what advancements would you say that you're working on to make the app more accessible to people all over the country? Yeah, so it's primarily we are uh, working towards adding more and more services, right? As much as we have a few thousand schools, uh, water, electricity, airtime, you name the basic uh, utility services, we have it. But still, we need to reach out even to the rural community or rural uh, uh, district councils where people don't have to travel uh, all the way 10, 15 kilometers just mm -hmm. to make a $2 of payment, right? <laughs> yes. So they, which they can do with a near doorstep or maybe through their own app. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, earlier when we were speaking to Mrs. Sindemira, she mentioned how there are different partners that have been able to link up with with um, with Ndasenda mm -hmm. to be able to say, you know what, if you want to pay your bills, you can come through. But unfortunately, it's not every single company or organization that is up to scratch. Mm -hmm. This is technology-wise. Right, right. How, how do you deal with that? So basically, uh, this app, as much as we publicize, we sell services as a service aggregation, really we are a fintech company, right? Mm -hmm. we, we, our core DNA is financial technologies. So our core clients so we are primarily uh, banks or any other financial, non-financial institution, wherever any kind of payment is involved, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So talking about so that way, even be it a small airtime vending machine or mm -hmm. a council payment or a funeral payment, everyone, we, we deal with everyone. Mm -hmm. So these are the latest technologies. I guess uh, acceptance is growing day by day, looking at... Uh, the stability and the scalability of the technology that we have brought in 
and uh, we are in quite a few banks that mm-hmm. we deliver banking services also not just in the senda app there are hardcore banking uh, platform that we deliver which are already been deployed in the bank mm. so with that way i guess it is a uh, plus plus to us where banks are also now talking about that can you deliver our services on to your app <laughs> that is a major milestone mm. gentlemen thank you so much for joining us on the show today mm. we will be right back after this break with more on the senda make sure that you don't move an inch this is zimbo live stop bill payment app The win a beautiful Navara competition is here. We are giving away a beautiful Nissan. So basically what the Senda is all about, it's all about giving convenience to a customer. A customer must have convenience. The literal convenience to be able to have anything that you want at the touch of a button. And that button must be on your phone, on an application, on any of your digital devices that you may have or that you have access to. The sender currently aggregates a host of services and all these services are for you the consumers to take advantage of. The sender also extends its services to corporates and also to banks and also to many other institutions within the country. Mhm. And who are the people that you're targeting when it comes to whether it's the partners or whether it's the clients? who exactly is the the person that benefits or the company that benefits from using the senda we have uh, two angles uh, where people benefit the first point where people benefit are the people that actually sell the service we promote an entrepreneurship where you've got all your touch shop owners a receptionist anyone who's got access to a smartphone can actually sell the senda services off their device So we are promoting entrepreneurship. Over the past 3 years we've got people that have bought motorbikes, that have bought vehicles, that have bought so many personal assets just by selling the sender services. We also target the corporates, the corporate services where we automate the uh, corporate services and also these corporates can sell these services at their offices as well and pay their own bills for their offices as well at their offices. so there is so much convenience both for the entrepreneur and for the corporate as well mm-hmm. so those are the targets that we are looking at mm-hmm. thank you so much if you could please explain to me your office is largely about the technology side of it all if you could just take us deeper into that yeah just uh, like before we break uh, before the break we were talking about we are a financial technology fintech mm-hmm. company mm-hmm. so we focus on uh, all kind of service provider partners uh, which are related to any payment services the first uh, type of institution that comes is the banks for banks uh, we have whole host of uh, products and services mm-hmm. but as much as there are a lot of productions i will still call that we have got only one product which is digital banking in a box <laughs> and to complete the com- 360 degree coverage uh, ecosystem of the banking ecosystem right mm-hmm. so digital banking in a box has got various modules which if uh, based on traditional banking if you have to deal with them there are for one core banking system you need to deal with separate one vendor for access channel different vendor so whatever the different category of products that we have banks are usually have to deal with multiple vendors and interoperability and all those kind of challenges so that's where we have come up with the digital banking in a box to cover complete 360 degree banking ecosystem so as part of that so it's not that it's one solution a bank has to uh, get the complete ecosystem as one go since this is a modular and based on latest greatest technologies mm-hmm. that one module can be carved out as a separate product by enhancing a specific business needs of any bank or any financial institution so by while covering on that we have got a series of products starting from agency banking mobile money platform automated reconciliation platform enterprise service was frictionless payment you name it and we have it mm-hmm. and these are a real working products and deployed currently in ben zimbabwe and various banks mm-hmm. uh, that is that is really amazing yeah. could you please if you touched on the ecosystem as well mm-hmm. if you could please explain to us the standing ecosystem that you have how it works and where it's going yes yeah, so as i mentioned uh, traditional banking you have different layers core banking system then uh, enterprise service bus then there is a access channel where customer and users interface 
at the same time there is a payment channel merchant payment in, so all those are a different product which being available or being deployed in isolation with various banks mm -hmm. so any new greenfield operators if they want to bring in or if the any of the financial institution which is going through digital revolution i guess most there are quite a few banks that we are meeting mm -hmm. they are going this path where they are revamping their whole of the ecosystem that's where we play a significant role giving them one single box and it, like reconciliation is a real tough job uh, in today's market we are visiting some of the banks they they really take decent time and uh, a day of job we have converted in with a click of a button mm. Wow. So, so that that's one key thing and similarly the mobile money, mobile banking and internet banking that we provide there are some of the services which is not even available with any of the internet banking platform and there are one or two bank which has already deployed it so that's we, we are really proud of it and they are they are also equally proud and happy about uh, what we have given them to mm. them. Yeah. could you give me an example of one of these services that you're saying isn't readily available on across all internet banking platforms something that i can do on the sender that i can't do with other platforms okay so when you say in the sender in this case we are the role that we are playing as a technology provider mm -hmm. but it is the bank internet banking belongs to a bank yes. right it's those that banking services but the platform the service i'll give an example uh now for bulk payment let's say some of the banks have got bulk payment where corporates uh, like tobacco floors and all those mm -hmm. they have to make various payment thousand ten thousand payment at one go and just imagine either they're doing it manually or even creating a file separating in different payment channel like one interbank intrabank and different so it, it's a real tough job it's very in so we bring in the efficiency wherein you create only one file mm -hmm. ex same format whatever and the, the sender internet banking will take care of rest of the job it has to go straight through onto rtgs it would go straight through interbank same intrabank the stand it would it would automatically divert it at the same time it also has all validation checks and validation checks when we are talking you end up in thousand pay you end up making a dual payment all those things it would be till highlight in advance at the same time notification getting a reference number for mm -hmm. in today's market itself hey you haven't made my payment these are yes. the question comes right mm. then you give a reference number then he's the guy is running around <laughs> right those are the real ground level problem yes. isn't it yes. so all those have been sorted at the click of a button because when a, in a payment is initiated all notification goes to the respective party then mm. and there with all relevant detail uh -huh. similarly the stop order debit order uh, product right we mm -hmm. all go with the funeral plans and all it directly paid from our bank account as a debit order mm -hmm. the one regular issue is the debit order process money is not available and all those mm -hmm. things right so which end up again creating inefficiency and in the higher cost mm -hmm. so we have pulse check mechanism where this platform monitors the balance mm -hmm. when the sufficient balance is available and the customer is agreed for that the date has come that is when it debit and whatever is agreed period there won't be any access due to human all human errors are being eliminated wow. right at the same time it has become so efficient that everything is a click of a button and from the doorstep why do i need to visit a branch to get my statement <sighs> the horror know, right so <laughs> i need to get it where i am and at whatever time of window right mm -hmm. so that is what that is what we are enabling right now and similarly on the agency banking platform all these light account why we have to struggle for all these kycs and all those things those can be open on these uh, uh, low cost platform mm -hmm. at the same time user onboarding user on we fill up the form get the detail go back to office it's a 2 3 day process isn't it yes, have you have you recently applied a bank on uh, open and yes yeah, right? and 3 days is actually it's a it's a short period of time right. usually they can actually take it up to 4 5 even 7 days right right so that can those 7 days can be a, a minute or an hour yes. depending upon what what business rules you have all details like captured then and there mm. take a picture then and there scan the document then and there click button and upload back office verifies activate within few minutes it is done so life doesn't have to be difficult exactly that's <laughs> all
All right. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you, you for joining us today. Right. And we certainly hope to see more and more advancements on you from your end as well. Definitely. We promise we continue to serve the community. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Your company and the mm. beautiful work you're doing here and the insight. That's right. The insight has been amazing. I love the fact that my life is being made easier. That's right. That's right. <laughs> and really, that that is what we need to be striving to do. What is it that you would say to a 10-year-old Fungai? 10-year-old you is sitting right now and watching yourself, watching this interview. What would you say to that little girl who doesn't know that there's a possibility to grow up and change lives the way you are changing lives? Right, so this is a topic that is close to my heart. And actually, when I came into Zimbabwe last two weeks, I have been having workshops with young people. We did a movie night and we went and watched The Hidden Figures. And that was amazing to me because yes. I want that guy, that mm. five year old from guy, to believe and understand that though I have got no control on the now, this is where I am and this is who I am, it's okay. It's okay to be now. But it's okay to have that dream mm. and know that I can make that dream come true. It's okay for me to have some desires and desire good things to happen and know that when I desire them, they can come. The only thing is that it's going to take action. It's very painful. It's not easy. But as we watched that day last week in the Hidden Figures, you keep pushing the boundaries. You keep pushing for what is right. And you keep pushing for what you want. And as long as you continue to do that, it will happen. And if you had asked me if this would have been real 10 years before, 10 years before today, I probably wouldn't be able to tell you what it looks like. Mm. Yet here we are today sitting in Zimbabwe, which I left 18 years ago. <laughs> but because I believe that we are the Zimbabwe that we want, we are the solutions that we want, and we can do something about it. Mm -hmm. And I suppose I'm calling everyone to the table to say, let's build Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe can be beautiful. We can have tap, 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 tap here mm -hmm. in Zimbabwe. We mm -hmm. never have to handle cash. Mm -hmm. And I, if, I'm, if I'm honest, this time around, I've been in Zim for the last couple of weeks, mm -hmm. and I'm happy to say that I've had no reason to be handling cash because we don't need cash, right? We can digitalize them, but mm. still get the services and live that life that we desire. So I'm leaving her homework to you, yes. to everyone watching, whether you're a service provider, whether you are a young person and saying, I don't have a job. Ndasenda has got jobs for you, but you've got to be willing to do the work. You've got to be willing to run a business. You've got to be willing to become an entrepreneur. You've got to be willing to be one of the people we saw here today mm -hmm. coming here to do the work and keep customers happy and keep the technology running. We just have to have the willingness to do and we must do it. Mm -hmm. And service providers, what is in it for you? You can digitalize your business. You can have just your business run from a computer and a dashboard and you can run your invoices, you can run your receipts, that is possible because that's what is Nasenda doing at the moment. We have got more just above 250 corporates mm -hmm. in our system. Mm -hmm. And this includes some of the biggest banks in Zimbabwe. We have got just above 1,500 agents. Wow. And we are building our agent network because we believe that we care about the person who is Kumosha. Gogo must not come to town. And mm -hmm. for me, that's close to my heart. <laughs> You, you must not leave Kawuri in the town to download an application form or to or So these things we are saying we can do them. So this is our Zimbabwe. Let's build it together. Thank you so That's much. Those, those are so, <laughs> such inspiring words yeah. that every person who is out there watching, whether they're a little girl, a little boy, or whether they're a 50-year-old man who mm -hmm. doesn't quite know if they can still start something, mm -hmm. You've inspired me. I know I'm, I'm inspired. And you know what? Let me add something. Mm -hmm. the, another thing that people will get stuck up with is that, oh, and the go Gumila form four. Yes. Saka, where do I start? Mm -hmm. Kana ah, inini chaye. It's none of that. Mm -hmm. I don't have a technology background, mm -hmm. and I'm not 
planning to go to any tech school. <laughs> you know, I'm done with going to school. Mm-hmm. I am a nurse by profession, mm-hmm. and I've had business experience over the years, and I've only stayed in my lane, learning and understanding entrepreneurship, learning and understanding business. Now, my nursing experience and knowledge, mm-hmm. I'm now applying it into technology, creating the checkups of this world. My experience of understanding how business processes work, I'm now applying it. And then people to make that dream come to okay. life. So it's not about if we were trying to have all the degrees in this world. Mm. You know, work with what you have. Kanawakato mbuina kuchukuru, kagumila form 4 or whatever. That is good enough. If you can wake up and go to work or wake up and breathe again, you have got an opportunity. So don't waste it. Mm -hmm. It's another chance to... It's another chance to be whatever you want to be and to build whatever you want to build. It's another chance. Wow. So yeah, that that's it for me. (laughs) Fungai, thank you so much for letting us into your space for... Opening up your heart to us today. I am so sure that this is inspiring somebody out there. That it's so. it's gonna teach someone to get up and you know do something about that dream that they have, and That's that it's right. not too late. Thank you so much, and I appreciate you guys. Uh, Zimbo Live TV, you've become part of our journey, and let's see five years time from today yes. where we will be. So thank you so much. You never know. There's so much we're talking about behind the scenes. That's right. <laughs> All of that stuff needs to come in. Thank and you. We, we need to be speaking at higher platforms in five years to come, as you're saying. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for joining us today on this live broadcast as we were speaking to Fungai Demir, beautiful, multi-talented, very, very inspiring businesswoman who decided to get up to live her dream and to make a difference in a situation that most people would have said it is impossible, it can't be done, not by a woman, not by a young person, not by somebody who doesn't have one, two, three, four. And today she boasts of so much because she stood and she believed in that dream. So make sure that you download that app today. Find your Ndasenda app on the App Store. Find the Ndasenda app on Google Play Store. Download it and start transacting today. Why? Because life doesn't have to be that difficult. It doesn't have to be hard to send money home. It doesn't have to be hard to market your business. Business owners, here's an opportunity for you. So make sure that you link up with the Ndasenda business development team. Find us on whether it is on social media or on the numbers that are on your screen, on the WhatsApp numbers that you've received, and make sure that Ndasenda is a part of your life today. This is Zimbo Live TV. My name is Charlene Mangweni and we are in the sunshine city of Harare in beautiful Zimbabwe. Don't let them tell you that there's absolutely nothing you can do about your dream. Get up and live it today. Keep watching. Your receipt and submit to enter the competition. You can enter as many times as you like. You could be the one to drive away in this beautiful Navara. Go on. What are you waiting for? Dasenda, download the app now. Dasenda is your one stop bill payment app. The Win a Beautiful Navara competition is here. We are giving away a beautiful Nissan Navara to one lucky winner. To stand a chance to win, log into your account in the app. Spend at least £20 on any of the services. Pay Zessa, school fees, or even top up someone's phone. Take a screenshot of your receipt and submit to enter the competition. You can enter as many times as you like. You could be the one to drive away in this beautiful Navara. Go on, what are you waiting for? Dasenda, download the app now.
Take care.